reach across with this hand and grab and try to break down his elbow here. Okay? When I break down his elbow, I'm going to reach down and grab his belt here. Grab his belt. Okay, now this has his, you see his wrist here? When I do this and put it up gap, I've got that wrist and a bind here. Okay? So now, if I step, if I'm in front here, I've got more throwing options. Okay? Coming across to the front. Now, he knows that though. Okay? So a lot of times guys will try to beat that step and step in front themselves here. So he can try to hit possibly some kind of counters. Okay? So what I'm going to do is same type thing. You know how we caught the, the shin here? Okay? I'm yeah, you're gonna. If they hold on, let them you know, hurt their wrist. Okay? I've got the belt grip and I'm trapped here. If I break this grip here, I can just grab just like this in the belt. But we're gonna say I did it from this cut here. Just like that. Now I'm going to fall. Over like this. Okay, remember I did this with my leg? Okay, so my head is going behind. This leg is going to kick him over back into our leg drag position. Okay, so I, I broke this down here. There, I've got the grip on the belt. Now, when I go behind here, I fall and I kick him over. It's right here. Okay, now I control the hit and I get low. Okay. I've got to start working my way in, and now I can start passing his guard, or I can hold him here and try to make him miserable. Reach across. I can use this hand too if I want to to kind of break this down. Here, I break it down, I pull in here. I grab the belt, pull him to me. Okay. Now, if he lets me, I can come here and go for go for a throw. If he's gonna get that dominant position here. That's fine. I'm going to drop. Come behind here, kick my leg over. I've got this belt grip here, okay? I've got his belt, I'm laying on the thigh. This knee drives to the mat. Just like that, now, I make sure this hand is on the hip here. So this hand here is grabbing the hip so we can't shrimp waist because I've got to release with this one to come to the collar or under the head. Alright? And here, I'm going to buckle the arm here and pull it across. And grab the belt. Oh, sorry. I did that. I did the wrist trick. So I'm here. Now, I could try to come in for this throw just to fake he sets in front, which is good for me. I'm going to come down over, pull the belt, and come up. Pressure down. Switch my hands here. I've got the post. I switch the hand. This one comes loose. I grab the collar or I go under the head. If I want to come around for you know, more something. Or like we did earlier, come around to more seam up position. Okay, so same thing is we're here. We're going to break down the arm or we're going to clear the grip and come around. Okay, break down the arm. We're coming around to get the belt grip here. He's going to let go or he's really going to hurt his wrist. Okay, he's trying to keep that front position on me. Because right here, he's thinking all I've got is maybe like to lean him back here. But he actually has some counter throws he can do to the front here, okay? So, I'm in this position. So, instead of dropping here and coming around and rolling him like we did, we're actually going to go for the other leg on this side and go for more of a back kick position. So, we're rolling here. See this leg here? See, I kick that in. That's where I all want, okay? So when we come back up, so I'm behind him here, I do this. When I come over, I drop and this leg, and then if I follow him up, that's fine, okay? So I'm already inserting that lower hook, which is the most important one, right off the roll, okay? Hey everyone, don't forget, if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button, give them a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or anything you want to see in the future, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Hope you enjoy the video.